Fox 11 is on special assignment tonight looking into whether a Green Bay Hotel project will attract more than just Packers fans. City leaders are hoping the Hotel Northland project in the downtown area of Green Bay will be bringing NFL teams to the city. Robert Hornacek shows us whether it's a real possibility. The Hotel Northland has a rich and deep history, especially when it comes to football. The Northland Hotel was the nerve center of Green Bay that weekend of any home game. Retired sports writer Cliff Crystal remembers the Northland well. The hotel, which opened in 1924, played host to NFL teams when they came to play the Packers. Most visiting teams started to stay there and almost all of them did uh, through the 60s and uh, some still did right up to when it closed in 1979. After the Northland closed, visiting teams stayed at various hotels in the area, and in 1989, the Minnesota Vikings became the first team to stay at the Paper Valley in downtown Appleton. General Manager Jay Schumerth says now, if there's a Packer game, the visiting team usually stays at the Paper Valley. We don't take this for granted. We work hard for it every year. Schumerth says NFL teams typically need at least 150 rooms, plus five to eight meeting rooms. Even though the hotel is 30 minutes from Green Bay, Schumer says the Paper Valley is an ideal spot for NFL teams. We have a dedicated wing of the hotel that we can essentially lock down and make inaccessible for anyone other than who belongs at that end of the hotel. There's not a lot of places that can do that. The Paper Valley could soon see some more competition for those visiting NFL teams. A development group based in Iowa has plans to renovate the old Hotel Northland and restore it to its former glory. Part of their plan is to try to get visiting NFL teams back to Green Bay. Is there a real chance NFL teams could come back to the Northland? Yes, there's a, there's a real chance. I think it will be big enough. We certainly have the amenities to, to accommodate them, I think, and um, it would be uh, on the radar screen. Mike Franz is with Franz Hobart Community Investors, a development company that specializes in historic renovations. The company is still finalizing its plans for the Northland, Meanwhile, city leaders are optimistic the renovation will happen and that visiting teams will once again stay in Green Bay. Yeah, we think it would be great to have the visiting teams stay downtown again. Greg Flissram is the Economic Development Director in Green Bay. We'd love to see it happen, whether it's in the, the, the business planning and the thinking of the developer group. Uh, we know that it is. Uh, how hard are they going to make a run at that? We just don't know at this point. Down at the Paper Valley, Jay Schumer says he would welcome the competition. It's just part of the game. I mean, at some point in time, you know, there'll be another hotel that, that's built that is going to go after the business. So, you know, we, we stay sharp, we do a great job, and I don't see a reason why we wouldn't continue to capture the majority, if not, you know, all the visiting teams still. Schumer points to an award the NFL travel managers handed out in 2008, naming the Paper Valley the most valuable property of the year. There's also a business reason teams stay in Appleton. Many hotels in Green Bay cater to fans who typically pay higher rates for their rooms and are forced to stay for two nights. NFL teams, meanwhile, usually pay lower rates and stay for just one night. It's good business for us. I mean, we're, we're not in a, you know, we're not in Green Bay where the demand is significantly higher, uh, where I know a lot of hotels can charge, you know, two night stays and, and rates higher than what the NFL wants to pay for their rooms. I don't know the hotel industry, but I think you'd maybe better do better off with a hotel full of Packer fans for a long weekend. Franz says the decision will be based on more than just money. Because the finances might not work quite as well as if we just had a fan base in there, uh, it doesn't mean that the NFL is not desirous. It may not be the optimal from a, from a financial perspective, but it certainly would be desirous to have them downtown, we think. If the Northland project moves forward, work could begin in October. And while some rooms here could be ready for the 2014 football season, the hotel most likely would not be ready to host an NFL team until 2015. For Fox 11 on Special Assignment, I'm Robert Hornacek. And if you'd like to see some of the historic photos of the Hotel Northland, just visit our website at fox11online.com, click on the Photos tab on the home page. And if you have a story that you'd like our On Special Assignment team to look into, send them an email at osa at wluk.com.